Greetings writers, today is Tuesday, January the 30th, 2024. Unbelievably, we are wrapping up the first month of the year and my blog post series on writing about emotions. The first few posts were about the internal work that you needed to do in order to understand and connect with your emotions, as well as identify and revise the rules that you might have been living by that made it difficult to write about them. In this final post, I give you a simple trick you can use to come up with fresh language and new ways to write about emotions. It is so simple, you are not going to want to miss it. And if you want to know what it is, read this week's post. Also in this week's newsletter, I share some of the generous quotes that have come in regarding my interview with Laura Davis. She is the guest for this week's uh, episode of the Writing and Resilience podcast. And the one that I love the most is the one that gave me shivers when she said it. And that is, this isn't the courage to heal, it's the courage to reveal. Now, if you want to understand the context behind that quote, listen to this week's podcast episode and be sure to be on the lookout for next week's podcast episode with Roni Plank, who is the author of When She Comes Back, which is her memoir and her short story collection, Home is a Made Up Place. She is also the host of the Let's Talk Memoir podcast, which is something you should totally be listening to. I want to wrap up by offering a just heartfelt thank you to everyone who wrote to me last week in response to my post about revising the rules you've been living by. There were so many courageous, compassionate, and heartfelt messages, and it was so encouraging to see how you have revised the rules you've been living by and how you are empowering yourself. Thank you again for all that you did um, with that post, and thank you all for showing up to your writing lives, to your to this community, and to the community at large. I am deeply grateful to know you and to be in community with you. And I look forward to continuing this journey as we all write on.